A gladiator's battle in the land of the rising sun spilled onto U.S. soil in 1998. His adversary, Masato Tanaka, brought a willingness to take as good as he could give. This created an environment so violent that it borders on the macabre. Sticks and stones may break bones, but chair shots will scramble brains. Today we take a look at the ECW feud of Mike Awesome and Masato Tanaka. It ain't pretty, but you can't look away. Speaking of not being pretty, take a gander at Tanaka's wrestling debut in the company. The Japanese wrestler is met with apathy. Fans are looking for this guy to impress them, but he's not being given the chance. And to be honest, there are a few miscommunications. Head drops wake the crowd up, but an asinine storyline of Doug Furness not making pinfalls because his own manager is telling him not to really insults the fans' intelligence. It's met with audible groans. The finishing sequence is botched before Tanaka wins with an elbow. No one cares. As far as these people are concerned, this guy's a flop. Paul Heyman has an idea. Why not put Tanaka up against his FMW rival? Mike Awesome is no stranger to ECW. He's had a handful of matches in the promotion, so here he is to amplify his foe's wrestling attributes. The action is both physical and athletic. Fans are into it. Then come the chair shots. Imagine no selling this or this. Holy guacamole. An awesome bomb on the chair only grants a two count, so Big Mike pulls out some wood. Tanaka avoids going through it and puts his opponent away with a rolling elbow. Tanaka may have won the battle, but Awesome makes use of that table afterward. The fans in the Elks Lodge love what they just saw. Mission accomplished. Why not run this back, but this time on pay-per-view? Well, that's the plan, man. Before that, Mike Awesome meets Masato Tanaka in a tag team match. Awesome's partner? Just incredible. Tanaka's partner? Jerry Lynn. The action begins. These two chop the crap out of one another. Awesome eats a wicked chair shot. When Lynn's tagged in, you can truly appreciate the sheer size of Mike Awesome. It's hard to believe WCW and WWE didn't know what to do with this man. But that's a conversation for a different time. Tanaka eats not one, not two, but but three chair shots before even looking phased. He then takes another running powerbomb through a table outside. This ends when Just Incredible takes a pile driver from Jerry Lynn, but what about Masato Tanaka? Can he even make it to the pay-per-view? This brings us to Heat Wave 98. This Dayton, Ohio crowd is loud. They're ready for a great night of professional wrestling. These two studs will give them just that. They go balls out shortly after the bell rings. The violence quickly escalates escalates as the fans become animated. These warriors have themselves a chair fight before Mike does something, well, awesome. This big man is willing to do things others his size aren't. He wraps the shape of Tanaka's head around a chair. Tanaka suffers a second blow because his opponent says it's table time. No, it's not though. Tonight, the shoe's on the other foot. This is not a safe landing, by the way, good gracious. But look at the fans, they're unglued. A roaring elbow should be enough now, but it's not. Tanaka performs a tornado DDT onto steel chairs to keep the big man from getting back up. One thing's for certain, putting Tanaka and Awesome in the ring together is a recipe for success. The thing is, Awesome disappears due to a ligament tear. His war with Tanaka will have to wait. Tanaka, on the other hand, carries up on an ECW. Along with Balls Mahoney, he even wins the tag team titles from the Dudley Boys for a short time. As far as the ECW World Heavyweight title, Tanaka gets his opportunity for the big prize in late 1999 at Anarchy Rolls. His opponent, Taz, is not well received as chance of you sold out Echo in the arena. Taz has been a beloved fan favorite, but news broke of his upcoming departure from the company to the WWF. Mike Awesome appears in the hostile crowd. He has not been around in a full year. Taz says he'll take him on as well. Say no more, champ. Paul Heyman makes this a three-way dance. Mike Awesome and Masato Tanaka actually work together, and their efforts eliminate the world champion. 
Taz accepts his defeat. He gives Masato Tanaka and Mike Awesome his blessing to beat the hell out of each other and give fans a new ECW World Heavyweight Champion. A Tornado DDT onto chairs does not beat Awesome as before. This ought to do it, but unbelievably it doesn't. Tanaka takes the ride to Table City outside again. A big frog splash follows, but it's kicked out of. Mike Awesome positively bludgeons his opponent with a chair, but he keeps going and going and going. It takes a second table to finally shut this absolute machine down. Taz kisses the world title goodbye and hands it to the victor. A new era begins in ECW. By the way, this is Judge Jeff Jones. He was appointed as Mike Awesome's manager. The judge stick is kind of hokey. I was never thrilled with the pairing. It is what it is. We move on. Their next encounter is at November to Remember. Awesome's still champion and Masato Tanaka is gunning for the gold. The encounter holds a special place in my heart. I remember watching this thing on my old Pioneer DVD. The chair carnage here might be the most impactful I've seen. Mike Awesome tastes some cold steel as well. Tanaka hits the DDT onto chairs early here. They keep intensifying the battles through this war. As far as the table, oh yeah, Tanaka is going through it. Mike Awesome receives similar treatment. After that, Tanaka hits a diamond dust, setting the champ up for the rolling elbow. Awesome makes sure he does not hit it, and it retains the title with an awesome bomb off the top turnbuckle. This feud is only just getting started because now begins their TNN series. Basically, these wrestlers are about to expose what are potentially new eyes to a hard-hitting style not regularly seen on WCW or WWF programming. Judge Jeff Jones declares it doesn't matter if it's Masato Tanaka who's sitting in the crowd or little Spike Dudley. Anyone wanting a piece of Mike Awesome needs to go through him first. Spike Dudley comes out and makes quick work of the judge. Mike Awesome ambushes Spike and throws him at Masato Tanaka. The two men begin fighting until security breaks it up. It's decided that a world title match will take place here and now. The challenger brings his best right out of the gate. Fans chant for a table and they get it very early into this. Tanaka suplexes the champ into a second table and it's followed by the Tornado DDT onto chairs. The old face smash is next. The challenger's skull gets another pummeling but still kicks out of a running awesome bomb. Tanaka's arm is now lacerated, presumably from the chairs. A third table that's been set up is used via a Tornado DDT. The champion kicks out while Tanaka holds his bleeding arm. One final burst of fighting spirit is spent on a rolling elbow. It's the kill shot needed to end Mike Awesome's championship reign. Masato Tanaka is finally the heavyweight champion of ECW. Mike Awesome puts the belt around the waist of his successor only to clothesline him. He's then launched through a table outside. Officials and wrestlers pour out from backstage to check on their fallen new champion. Mike Awesome demands a rematch for next week where he promises he'll not only end Tanaka's championship reign, but his very existence. Here we are one week later. A champion ready to fight for his life and a challenger hell-bent on annihilation. As soon as that bell rings, the former champion meets his rival with unmitigated malice. After a dive outside, the champ sets up a table. Tanaka avoids going through it. Beginning with a crossbody, he finally starts getting some offense. Awesome knows how to deal with Tanaka when he gets retaliatory. But Tanaka is prepared to counter Awesome this night and then nails his tornado DDT onto chairs. After kicking out of the diamond dust, Mike Awesome comes back with a running awesome bomb. He runs it back, this time through a table. The favor is returned, but Awesome's determined to get his title back because he even survives the rolling elbow. It takes an Awesome splash and an avalanche sit out Awesome bomb, but the challenger goes back to being the champion. In February of 2000, the third match on their TNN series takes place. Masato Tanaka only got a taste of the grandest of ECW gold, and he must endure another round of punishment to reclaim it. He Tornado DDTs the champ through a table outside, which leads to him taking control. This time, the DDT onto steel is countered. Awesome's flying chair shot is countered like last time. This grants Tanaka his DDT onto a chair, but it's not enough. The rolling elbow is avoided. Tanaka kicks out of an awesome bomb and then survives the big splash. Awesome does what he did to beat Tanaka last time, but this time through a table. It gets the job done. 
This feud takes a funny turn because Masato Tanaka and Tommy Dreamer wrestle the Impact players for the ECW World Tag Team belts. Just Incredible is pinned with Tanaka's Diamond Dust and the titles change hands. The interesting team of Mike Awesome and Raven come knocking on the door of opportunity in an attempt to take the gold from around Dreamer and Tanaka's waists. After Awesome inflicts extreme punishment on Dreamer, he's softened up enough for Raven to make an easy pin. The new champions defend the gold on pay-per-view against the Impact players and the team of Masato Tanaka and Tommy Dreamer in a three-way elimination. Awesome is pinned by Tanaka's rolling elbow. There will be new champions this night, but unfortunately not Tanaka or Dreamer. The Impact players celebrate, but the takeaway here is that Masato Tanaka pinned the heavyweight champion. This means one more match between Tanaka and Awesome. The challenger loses a chair fight with Mike Awesome and he pays the price for that. This is the ECW Champions match early on. Tanaka endures a sit-out powerbomb and Awesome splash before a frustrated champ brings in a table and puts Tanaka through it. The challenger kicks out. He stubbornly survives a running awesome bomb too. A second table is a game changer for Tanaka because it affords him the chance to hit a rolling elbow. But Jeff Jones distracts the referee. Raven's alliance with Awesome comes into play here. The referee's even taken out. After that, Tanaka's power bombed outside through a table. Tommy Dreamer tries to help to no avail. Masato Tanaka had the champion's number, but this is a no contest. You may suppose this feud carries on, but this ends here. Mike Awesome, as a WCW contracted wrestler, drops the ECW title to Taz, a WWF contracted wrestler, before making his exit from the company. Shortly after that, ECW goes under. Well, I guess this is the end of the video. Not so fast, bucko. There remains one more ECW match between Masato Tanaka and Mike Awesome, because in 2005, ECW rises from the grave for a one-night stand. And this is where our warriors clash for not just one last time in ECW, but in professional wrestling. Awesome looks as good here as he did five years ago, and no, the violence is not toned down, as demonstrated with this table bump. Tanaka kicks out of the awesome splash that follows. He takes an awesome bomb, and then those nasty chair shots I've become used to seeing. It usually takes three hits to slow Tanaka down. Tonight, he's not stopping. He nails the diamond dust followed by the tornado DDT onto chairs. Awesome even survives a DDT through a table. Tanaka kicks out of the awesome bomb from the top, something he hasn't been able to do in ECW. Tanaka's thrown through a table outside and awesome immediately follows through with a dive. The ref counts the pinfall on the floor, giving Mike Awesome the victory. As I said, this is the final match between these two anywhere. It's also Mike Awesome's final match, period. He felt he was underpaid for his one night stand performance and said enough's enough. Awesome said he'd return to pro wrestling if he felt the price was right. That would never happen. Two years later, the big man took his own life inside his home in Florida. I won't speculate here. I'm not a close friend or family member. I'm merely a fan who thought Awesome deserved more than what he got. It's not a bright note to end the video on, but I hope this helps celebrate a little bit of his legacy in the business.